member for Kelowna Lake Country. Al Horning passed away um, last week, March 20th. He was 83 years of age. Many in this chamber knew him, worked with him. Uh, 83 is slightly above the average for men, or actually for people in our country, but he was way above average. Maybe not in height, because he and I were about the same height. He was a businessman, a realtor, a champion, snowmo snowmobiler, sport hall of famer, Kelowna City Councillor, a member of parliament, and of course, an MLA, right here. He served for over 20 years, our country and our province and our community. He was a champion of everything Rutland, everything Kelowna, everything BC and everything of our country, but he left us a legacy, a, a legacy of fiery, uh, just advocacy for everything that was important to his community. Uh, expansion to the Kelowna Airport, uh, new highways, uh, really passionate about Rutland Middle School, which I tried to continue on, on his behalf. But uh, he was more than that. He was a dedicated father, a grandfather, a loving husband to Donna who passed away at the beginning of COVID. And I know people here lost loved ones during COVID, very difficult. Together, he and Donna were a political force in our country, our province and our city. I, for one, would not be here if it wasn't for Al Horning and Donna Horning. Um, you know, Al always said, Mr. Speaker, that uh, he was supposed to pass before Donna. He was kind of pissed off, actually, that he had not. But I can tell him now that She's been up there waiting for him for a few years. He better get his butt in gear and uh, keep the speeches short. Because if anything Donna was really proud of was how Al kept his speeches short and just delivered on the goods. Now, Mr. Speaker, traditionally in this legislature, in this chamber, after a testimonial like this, we do not applaud. But I would ask all members of the House to do the opposite and applaud a good man who served our country and our province.